CPA. Um, I've been um, practicing in Lancaster for four years now. I joined a family business that's been operating in Lancaster for 20 uh, plus years now. We specialize in tax law and um, I handle tax preparation. I handle accounting for small businesses, bookkeeping, um, and some uh, consulting work um, as a controller for larger businesses looking to grow as well. And we've seen um, a lot of nice growth over the last few years, and um, we've been looking to you know, new ways to help us staff in order to meet those growth needs. About a year ago, um, we decided that we were gonna have to bring on um, another staff person. And we wanted somebody who had bookkeeping experience, um, accounting experience, that was willing to sort of grow with the firm with us. And we actually did start by looking in the United States. It was during the uh, pandemic. We started looking about, we actually started looking a little bit before the pandemic started. And obviously that made things a little tougher. Uh, we actually had hired somebody from the United States to help us. And they basically pushed things back and pushed things back and the pandemic created issues. And we ended up not being able to use that person. And um, we decided that after sort of reviewing what we were looking for from a candidate, that we were looking for somebody with bookkeeping, book, bookkeeping experience, um, accounting experience, like I said, um, but somebody to really be able to take over day-to-day -day, you know, accounting tasks for clients. And it didn't necessarily need to be somebody that was in the office with us. So they could be remote. That was something that you know, a lot of people were asking for during the pandemic. And we had been thinking about offshore staffing for a few years, but we had never really explored it. And I think we found Integrity just on um, you know, Google and set up a meeting with Chris actually. And um, yeah, we basically really liked what we heard. We, I remember reading a PowerPoint presentation of uh, you know, the, what the firm could do for us and what a staff member could do. And it seemed to really fit what we were looking for. And basically, the rest is sort of history. We set up the you know, interviews and sort of moved the process forward. And now it's, it's been six months since we made our first hire and things are going well. I think the biggest challenge from the interview, I interviewed three candidates. They all had accounting degrees. Uh, they all had three years of experience. And it was hard to differentiate them, actually. Um, in terms of you know who was the best candidate, um, I know personally the one of the things that tipped the scales for me, but it, it was tough, was just the you know how the per, looking at the candidate with the best English, um, you know the best communication skills, and actually even though we weren't necessarily having you know direct communication with the client right away, although that's something that we are um, transitioning to now. Um, that was something that was important to me. All three candidates spoke great English, but you know, that was in, in a field where they were, you know, three really qualified candidates. It's just, you got to pick something to differentiate them. Um, I remember being a little bit, I don't know if stress is the right word about it, but just a little anxious about, you know, did we pick the right person and everything? Because like I said, it was, it was hard to differentiate because they were all good candidates, but you know, we've been able to, uh, you know, work through that and really picked good candidate um, ultimately so in, in terms of do's and don'ts um, in the actual interview you know I had prepared questions which was nice and you know doing them all back to back was really helpful um, to be able to really compare the candidates but it was a smooth process um, the integrity staffer that I work with that helped set him up was really great so uh, yeah it was it was a very painless process it was just like I said it was hard to pick out the best candidate because they were also qualified I think it, I, it's fair to say I definitely did have some fears. I mean, we're handing some you know, fairly confidential information over to somebody who doesn't work in our firm, is you know, based out of a whole different country. So that's something that definitely did concern us. We were very impressed by the data security policy that Integrity has. So we rely on that um, for a big part of the data security, but we also, the way we have our process set up, um, Tarun, the, um, employee from Integrity that I'm working with, he remotes into one of our computers. So we set up some restrictions on the computer that he's using. We monitor um, the computer that he's using and actually we monitor his computer at Integrity as well. Um, but really, like I said, the we have our own data, internal data security policy where we actually cite 
uh, Integrity's data security policy, and we, we feel confident that between the steps we've taken and the steps that Integrity takes, that we have uh, you know, data security covered as much as you possibly can. Unfortunately, you know, it's hard to be completely 100% covered from anything happening ever, but we feel confident that we you know, have the amount of security that we need to, uh, you know, to operate effectively. I sort of mentioned this earlier when I was talking about what we were looking for in a candidate, but basically for the ongoing accounting clients, that's mainly there in tax prep. We're actually getting to our first tax prep season now, so I'm not going to comment quite as much on tax preparation because we haven't really gone through a season yet. But on the ongoing accounting you know, um, engagements, these are clients that work for me that pay me a monthly fee to you know, maintain their books, provide them some consulting and help them make financial decisions. Basically, Tarun fits in as sort of a part of that process. So he does the you know day-to-day -day, uh, bookkeeping, journal entries, payroll, making payroll deposits, um, you know, identifying issues, and now also going to the client and asking some of those questions. And then the staff in, uh, here in Lancaster sort of handle other parts of the process. So we complement each other in that we're handling different pieces of the process. Um, so it's a sort of you know a big cycle that happens every you know month, week, quarter, depending on the different kind of task, and we sort of integrate Tarun into specific pieces of that task or that cycle, and then you know, people in Lancaster are handling um, the other parts of that cycle. Right now, you know direct client communication, um, you know meetings, phone calls is happening primarily by Lancaster staff, um, but some of the back end work, accounting, bookkeeping, um, especially daily tasks are being handled uh, by Tarun out of integrity.